As schools prepare for students to return back in person, St. Bosco Catholic School is ready for their K through eight to start now, which has been going on. Jamie, how are you doing? I'm good, I'm very good, how are you? Good, I went through all the questions. I said first, how are your kids doing? They're great. They're very excited to be back on campus with their teachers, with their friends. Yeah, and then and then you're doing great as a parent because I know it was a lot of changes going on. Yes, as a parent, as an administrator, there was a lot to get ready for and to prepare for. And um, just living on pure adrenaline right now, it's a lot of excitement around campus and just happy to be back with our kids. Yeah, and, and this is a time that we usually talk about Catholic schools and what they offer and do things. And since mm -hmm. things have changed a little bit, you pretty much wanted to focus on what you guys are putting in place to make sure the kids going back to school are safe. Correct. We've done a lot of things to get the campus prepared, to get our staff, our faculty, and our students prepared. Starting this summer, we went into all the classrooms with our maintenance team. We took out extra desks, carpets, stuffed animals, anything that we couldn't disinfect to prepare the students to come back on campus. Um, we've also provided every classroom with disinfectant spray, um, sanitizer, um, physically distance all of those desks, but then also with our little kids, they have tables. Yeah. So we want to make sure that they have plastic barriers, they wear masks on campus. Yeah. Mm -hmm. like, and the video they're watching right now, we shot this last year, and the reason why I wanted to kind of like show it now, and again, we're doing stations, but I'm seeing the kids are happy, they're doing things. Is that going to continue? I know with the new mask and new stuff like that, you guys have made some things, but I mean, seeing this video and seeing what you guys are doing in your, your tech uh, community, you're doing everything in the classrooms. How's that going to change a little bit here? Well, our biggest thing is to keep things as normal as we possibly can. So what you're seeing that from last year, we're still trying to do because they're still in their classrooms with their students, with, with their friends, with their teachers. We also have some families that have opted for virtual instruction, so that's where our technology comes into play. Our giant smart boards have the students who are at home being projected, so the kids in class can see their friends at home with the virtual instruction. They can talk, they can collaborate, they can still do group work. Um, but when it comes to what the kids are doing at school, they're still with their friends. We're just keeping them in cohorts. We're not letting them intermix classes, so if they're in um, a kindergarten A class and kindergarten B class, A and B aren't mixing, but they're still with their friends. They're still able to have that um, social interaction, do centers. We are wearing masks in the classroom as we're rotating around. We even have plexiglass barriers put up in our preschool and kinder classrooms because they don't have desks, but also to allow the kids to take a mask break, to take that mask off. We want, they can't wear a mask all day, but we want them to feel safe. We want the parents to know they're safe. We want our teachers to feel safe. Yeah, and I know this is kind of interesting where a lot of people were worried about that the students weren't going to follow the guidelines, but it's very interesting that the students are making sure that you teachers and everybody are following the guidelines. That's what I like about St. Bosco Catholic School. They're, they're watching out for each other. Yes, at St. John Bosco Catholic School, the kids are very cognizant of everyone. They, we're very much a tight community and they do care about their teachers. They do care about their friends and even our littlest preschoolers, they keep those masks on almost all day. I went into one of my preschool teachers classrooms last week and I said, wow, how are you getting them to keep them on? She's like, they want to keep them on. They're singing songs about physical distance. Then they made it into a mask song, like keep your little mask on. They love it. They really don't mind. And I think they, it makes them feel safe. Yeah. And right now you're asking people to go to the website to see what's going on there at uh, St. John Bosco, because as you said, you know, parents might be looking for a uh, Catholic education, mm -hmm. but you're doing it online too, so it kind of like helps them to be a little safe, but also get that Catholic education. Yes, we're offering both platforms, and if parents are interested, I do urge them to go to our website because we do have our COVID protocols in place, the procedures, our reopening plan, it's all on our website. We even have a video of a few of us administrators explaining it a little bit easier because it's quite a novel of protocols that we have in place. Yeah. Jamie, thanks for stopping in, and I'm looking forward to visiting again. We're able to do more on the campus. And stuff. It's always nice to see you. Thank you so much. So,